What's going on guys? Jacob over here. So, um, today I woke up to some news that I was not expecting to wake up to, and that was Brett Favre on the Rich Eisen podcast talking about Aaron Rodgers and Jordan Love and Rodgers' relationship with the Packers organization. Now, I've heard plenty and plenty about Rodgers, you know, for some reason uh, he's going to hate Jordan Love, he's going to hate the Packers for their draft, whatnot, um, but I was a little bit surprised to see Favre comment on these uh, on these topics, and uh, you know, I think that Favre commenting on them probably gives them a little bit more truth. Uh, and you know, this isn't Favre didn't say anything like the media has been saying. You know, that Rodgers is going to hate love, that Rodgers hates the Packers or anything like that. But he did, you know, say uh, he he talked about Rodgers uh, being disappointed in the organization, and he also talked about Rodgers uh, potentially finishing his career elsewhere. So. Uh, you know, I mean, if, if there's if this was like a, just some random reporter talking about this, and I probably would have brushed it aside, probably wouldn't even be making a video on it. But uh, this is Brett Favre, and Brett Favre and Aaron Rodgers, uh, you know, their relationship started pretty rocky, but uh, they've both said that they, you know, they talk pretty often now. Uh, and, you know, Favre probably knows Rodgers pretty well at this point. Uh, so I, I would say that there might be a little bit of truth to the claims. And, uh, you know, uh, especially with Rodgers going somewhere else when he retires. Now, I'm certainly someone who has always hoped that Rodgers finish his career, his career in Green Bay. I've always thought that Aaron Rodgers was going to finish his career in Green Bay. But, you know, when his contract is up, he's still going to he's gonna be 39, 40 years old. And Rodgers has said repeatedly that he wants to play into his 40s. And Jordan Love uh, is going to be under contract for the next four years, so that would make his contract up the same year that Aaron Rodgers' contract is up. Now, Love does have the fifth-year option that the Packers could pick up, but that would only leave him in Green Bay for one more year. So you'd have to sign Jordan Love to an entire new contract uh, to get him to play a single snap in Green Bay, assuming that you would want to have, uh, or assuming that Rodgers would want to play at least one more year in Green Bay after his career is, or after his contract is over. So this all kind of sets up in a way that's like, Rodgers seems like he might end up being on his way out. And, uh, you know, I, I'm certainly hoping that that's not the case, that, uh, you know, when, the, when his contract is up, that he either retires or, you know, something happens, you know, maybe Jordan Love gets traded away and the Packers draft someone else. But, uh, you know, I mean, it's certainly something to think about. And, uh, you know, Brett Favre saying it, Brett Favre, he said that his gut tells him that Rodgers is going to finish his career elsewhere. So that uh, you know, tells me a little bit more about the situation, especially with it coming from someone who actually knows Aaron Rodgers. Um, at the same time, you know, Brett Favre, uh, I'm certainly thinking that he wasn't on the podcast just to say that. He was probably on the podcast to push a little bit of his own uh, agenda and bias, you know. I mean, I think Favre definitely wants uh, to show people that uh, Rodgers is going to be in the same boat as he is and that he wasn't in the wrong for not liking the decision that Green Bay made. So I'm sure he f still feels... A little bit of animosity towards uh, uh, the Packers organization even to this day. I mean, even though, you know, McCarthy and Thompson are both gone, you know, and everyone who was involved with that is out there, is out the door now, uh, you know, I would say that he still might have some, a little bit of hard feelings towards the Packers for that, and uh, he would certainly jump at any opportunity he could to show people, hey, it's happening again, I told you so. Uh, so, you know, there is so, a little bit of this that probably, of Favre, that probably wants to sen sensationalize this a little bit, but at the same time, I still think there is a little bit of truth to it, and, you know, that's a pretty sobering reality to, uh, accept, you know, that Aaron Rodgers might not finish his career in Green Bay, and I've always kind of been under the opinion, you know, that Aaron Rodgers isn't Brett Favre, Aaron Rodgers isn't going to go somewhere else, he wouldn't turn his back on the organization like that. He's wanted, he'd want to be a Packer forever because this is the team that took a chance on him, on him at number 24. But, uh, you know, things happen and things are happening now. And, uh, you know, like I said with Jordan Love, if the Packers are truly intent on Jordan Love being the successor to Rodgers, then Rodgers is either going to get traded or he's going to retire when his contract is up or they're going to re-sign him for one more year and then he's going to be done after that. So that's that's really or or uh, also the possibility you know that they that Jordan Love either doesn't work out or they end up trading him or something like that. But to me, it feels like the Packers' uh, goal right now you know is to eventually groom Jordan Love to be the successor, and when Co Rodgers' contract is up, for him to either retire or go elsewhere. That's kind of what it feels like at this point, and uh, you know it really feels 
difficult saying that, but at the same time, it is kind of what I feel is the reality right now. And, uh, you know, maybe it's all wrong. Maybe Jordan Love doesn't even last a, two years in Green Bay. Maybe Aaron Rodgers plays for Green Bay until he's 45 years old and then he retires. But it's certainly something to think about at this point. It really is. And, uh, you know, it, now that it's a player or a former player that's actually known Aaron Rodgers for a while and frequently talks with him, I would say that there's a lot more substance to the claims that Aaron Rodgers might not be too happy with the organization and that he might not uh, end up finishing his career in Green Bay. So anyways, guys, that's all I really have to say on the topic. You know, it's just it kind of caught me a little off guard this morning seeing Favre on the Rich Eisen podcast saying all this. But, you know, it, it, it might have some truth to it. It really might. So I just thought it would be suitable to make a video talking about it. You know, these are my two favorite quarterbacks of all time, Brett Favre and Aaron Rodgers. And when they're talking about each other, when uh, Rodgers is being implied as leaving the same way Favre did, uh, it is news for sure. Uh, and if Rodgers does leave, you know, I'm not going to really blame him. I'm not going to, you know, hate him for it or anything like that, as long as he doesn't go to the Vikings or the Lions or the Bears. But, uh, you know, I'm going to be really sad, and, you know, I'm going to be sad either way if he retires or he leaves for somewhere else. I will root for any team that he goes to, uh, except if it's a division rival or a really, really big rival, you know, in the NFC, like the Cowboys or the Seahawks or something. But um, we'll just have to see what happens. Hopefully this is not going to you know, be brought back up for at least a few more years, or we don't, at least we don't have to think about it for a few more years, because we still got something great in Green Bay, I think Rodgers is still going to be the quarterback next year and the year after that, so we'll see what happens uh, with the Packers going forward, but until next time, guys, thanks for watching, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Eversports121512, and on Instagram, using Jacob underscore Ober, and I'll see you guys next time, go Pack, go.